Okay, welcome back. So today, stream, we have the following problem. You have a positive integer n, and you have an n by n matrix whose ij-th entry is gcdij, and you would like to uh, compute as a determinant. So, um, that, let me f I'm just going to first grind out a few small cases so I know what I'm dealing with. So, one, there's this column of ones. So really, it's like, okay, it's not visible at all, so let me figure out where. Okay, the GCD of two and three is one, one, three. Oh, so there's a diagonal that looks like this. And then... Okay, GCD, one, one, two, one, four, one, two, one, three, one, three, one, two, one, four, one, two, five, one, one. Okay. So, how do I comp- so the first few determinants are what? It's like one, so this is one, n equals three. Oh no, and I have to compute this. <sighs> subtract, subtract. One, one, two. This two or something. Yeah, six is the main one that's giving going to give me a big headache because it's like Okay, so n equals four, zero, zero, two, uh, It's like, I want there to be... If I take this and subtract it off here, does that cause good things to happen? Ugh. I might as well add 7, because 7 is going to be... 7 will literally be 7 times the... No, or six times the whatever it is for n equals six. Because seven is just a bunch of ones. Hello. Okay, so first, this gives you four. Well, let me do this. Four. I I'll write this actually as two times previous. And then five will be four times previous 
go 16. <sighs> 6 is... Holy crap, okay. Is there anything I can subtract from 6? I take this one, subtract it. It's almost it almost kills everything. It's just you're left with two here and like four here. I really don't like this two. Is there a way I can kill it? If I subtract... Here, yeah, I can use this one. So I can make zeros, I can make a zero, zero, two. Okay, and now I subtract the green thing. So it's two times previous. Why is the answer always a power of two? Okay, that that was like very ad hoc though. Okay, but n equals seven is not a power of two, right? Because you did it's six times the previous. Yeah, two plus three minus one. So it seems like so far, when it, like for each new row, I've been able to subtract off something that will mostly kill everything. Um, let's see, for 6 we used 2 plus 3 minus 1. That's the main one to know. If I have PQ in general, is, do I get P plus Q minus 1? Okay, I should start writing... Hmm. I should start writing what I'm subtracting because that's the important part of the problem. So let me move this a little to the right. The, the, the answer... For me right now, the answer is less important than the... Thing that's being subtracted. Um, what we've ba what we've basically been able to do is okay. N equals four. We subtracted two. That was it. N equals eight. I think we subtract four, and that's it. We subtract one, one, and the primes are all on.
N equals 9 is going to be... I'm going to be subtract off 3, right? In general, P, Q, I think... I think you get like P plus Q minus 1 for P, Q. This, this doesn't... Oh, this belongs to the others. Is it Fi of N? Fi of N sounds right. Okay, so... Oh, this is very cute, actually. I was wondering what the answer was going to be. Uh, okay, so... Conjectured answer is right. Cool. I mean, I think it was too... <sighs> I think it was definitely going to be, but... Okay, so... I think Warren basically knows... Let's see, P squared... So here's the claim. So, you know, it's more natural if I was to write this as 1 minus 2 minus 3 plus 6. So the claim is 3 minus. Oh, I, have, I have to get this right. Sum. across I have a set of primes and it the row that's being used Products. Oh, frick. This is so bad. <laughs> um. If M is div is a divides P1 Okay, so let P1 through PK be distinct primes. I probably should have typed this one instead of writing.
Oh, right. The, I need a minus one to the slides of this or something like that. Did I write the correct thing? <laughs> Hi, Jello. What am I supposed to say here? Uh, are you doing it by like grouping together the previous ones? I don't know. I'm not sure what that means. Basically what happens is like for each of these matrices you can Add a combination of these things so the last row becomes all zeros except for a fee. And that's how. Yeah. Like, for example, the 11115, you just be like, okay, and then you subtract all these ones, and this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 4. So, whatever the answer for n equals 5 will be 4 times the answer when n equals 4. Um, we've been able to do it for every small case and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what the general thing is but the problem is it's written it's this complicated thing down. Yeah. It's this complicated thing that I just wrote down and I'm just like I don't want to deal with this. It's <laughs> so messy. <laughs> It's basically going to be some principal inclusion exclusion thing. Um, but. I just don't want to write it out. <laughs> uh. Send me three bugs. I'm amazed this problem is thus clean though. Like if you had told if you had told me that G C D thing was like I wouldn't have believed you if you told me that it had a nice like a reasonable closed form, which is the product of, of all the fees. Like when I first saw it, it just looks like something so, something that someone just randomly made up. Did problem requests happen? Um, yes, but today no one showed up on time, so there was only one problem request, which was this. And Jeff was saying that he's like, oh, I've, I've proposed this so many times, which is true, because I remember seeing this every time and being like, I don't believe that this is going to have a nice closed form. 
<laughs> and not voting for it. But today it was the only request, so now we're doing it. And now I have to deal with this freaking monstrous sum. But the answer is way cleaner than I thought it would be. Oh my god, what did I get myself into? Okay, I wanna do if I wanna write a uh, <laughs> sorry Evan. No, I I it's a good problem, it's just oh my god, I have to write this work this up. Um I wanna write out the PQ P to the P, like n equals p to the eq to the f just so I can actually see what the hell is going on. So it's like I claim the claim is gcdi against p to the e q to the f minus gcd Q to the F plus one plus GCD The claim is that this is zero for all I less than P, like P to the E Q to the F and when it's equal to P to the E Q to the F is like the, the Euler fee That already looks wrong to me that that doesn't look correct um, so this should be a minus, right? Ah, oh, frick. Okay, oh, uh, sorry, this is stupid. Um, this is, this is not really what I want. What I want to say is let n be an integer. P1, E1. P K E K. And the claim is that G C D of N divided by the product of P I shoot. I can't reuse really it. You know what? We're not gonna call this I. We're just gonna call this like uh M or something. There's a slick way. Oh. Well, let me first figure out how to do the. Make sure I know how to do the two case before I try running after the. So, all these things that I thought were pluses were minuses. Okay, so if m is a random integer, I only care about powers of m with respect to... I only... I might, I may as well assume without loss of generality that m equals p to the x, q to the y, I guess. Actually, I only care about whether m is like p to the e or... Because if m, the exponent of p is less than... is not e minus no 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 Th this is this is easy I, this is fine if the exponent of let me just not i'm not going to give it a name that's too much too many letters 
if vp of m is strictly less than e, then um, then all gc then all gcds have vp equal to So it suffices to do the problem. Yeah, so you can pull the factor of p. You don't care about it. Um, so the only time you do care is if you have, let's say, like, m is q to the f. Then actually some of them will, like, some of them will be q to the f and some of them will be q to the f minus 1. But... They should cancel, all right? The claim is that it's always zero. Um, I mean, I can see it for this case. What if I had a... Wait, all of them have... Yeah, it just factors out. Okay. I'm gonna write out the thing with 4-3 because I can't see it. Okay, but when m is equal to p to the eq to the f, um, everything is it factors, right? Like p to the e minus p to the e minus one, q to the f minus q to the f minus one. It's like exactly equal to this, which is sort of which is what we expect to happen. Um, wait, that's just that's just it, right? When, if m is like p to the e minus 1, q to the f, then this is exactly p to the, well, if, let me call it k. Okay, that's just, that's just it. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done here. We're done! All right, now to actually write this up. <laughs> so the bash worked. It's not even a, it's just, it, it's exact. Ugh. I wasn't thinking. That's the prob actual problem. Uh, okay, where did we say this problem was from? Like, what do what do I call it in the database? Yeah. Mind if I send another problem request? I mean, I guess you can send it, and then I'll decide whether I want to do it or not, or if I want to celebrate and play video games. Um, but... Okay.
Of course, it's problem seven. Uh... Alright, let me finish writing this up first. Doing column operations. Okay, claim. Um, Okay, let's see if that if I type that correctly. I don't know. How, how do I word this in a way that makes sense? Add or subtract.
Oh, I forgot the G the minus one to the S. Yeah, Vim Conceal is real nice. I to the It's always A what here. Did I screw? becomes the usual fee factorization. Be factored. the corresponding vanishes. Okay. What a problem. I I would not have believed you if you told me this was the answer would come out this nice. All right. 